should say record them. Yeah. It's on All right. My name is Anthony Howard. I am currently serving in the Ohio Army National Guard. I've been in for almost two years, and my MOS is 12 Remio, which is an interior electrician. Um, my unit is in Chill Coffee, and so that's where I go for my one week in a month for my drill, and that's a pretty little picture of me at Daisy Train. Um, so my speech topic is the history of the Army National Guard, and I hope to inform you of what started the National Guard and all the way up to where it is today. So when it started, the official birthday of the National Guard is December 13th, 1636. Uh, on the state, Massachusetts, like the government, directed the current militia of their state into organized regiments. And those regiments were the 101st Engineer Battalion, the 101st Field Artillery Regiment, the 181st Infantry Regiment, and the 182nd Regiment. So pretty much what happened was is that they took the, the people who were serving for their state already defending their borders, and they just organized them into an actual regiment. And a big question that always seems to, to come up with the National Guard is how can the National Guard be older than the U.S. Army? And the official birthday of the Army is June 14, 1775, over 100 years later than the official birthday of the National Guard. And what, what caused this is the Militia Act of May 8th of 1972. And, I mean, 1792, <laughs> 1972. Um, it permitted uh, militia units organized before that date to retain their customary privileges. So this just recognized them as a militia that worked for the state and recognized what they did before and what they're doing now. That gave them the ability to have them that be their birthday of the National Guard. So the National Guard's presence from then till now. Um, the National Guard, the citizen soldiers, the citizen sol soldiers that make up the National Guard have been in every major war of the United States. Uh, some of the big significant jumps in the National Guard would be like the National Guard doubled the size of the regular U.S. Army about a year before Fort Harbor in World War II. So there was twice as many people in the National Guard in the Army than there were in the normal United States Army. And there were more than 138,000 Guardsmen mobilized to the Korean War. And that's not even including the amount of people that are in the National Guard in total. That's just the number of people who were working in the National Guard and got activated to serve in the Korean War. And these are just a couple pictures from National Guard units from that time. And continued, um, approximately 63,000 Army Guardsmen were called to serve in Desert Storm. And again, that's not a number of people in the National Guard at that point. It was the number of people in the Army National Guard deployed to Desert Storm. And the Army National Guard is heavily engaged in Iraq and Afghanistan. Where the Army National Guard is today. Um, National Guard has always been a citizen soldier program. So pretty much what that means is that uh, people in the National Guard, whether they're in a job force or going to a college like myself, they have their normal job, their normal life, and then they're a part-time soldier one week in a month to their units. And then, but at any moment, they can be activated either by their state or by the nation to serve either overseas or here in the states, whether it be a natural disaster in Ohio or any other state that uh, would be called for or any riot or anything like that. We protect the state, protect the nation, protect the world. And military.com stated that Today's National Guard continues its historic dual mission, providing the states with units trained and equipment to protect life and property, while providing the nation with units ready to defend the United States and its interests around the world. So that pretty much sums up uh, what the National Guard is for. They have, it's just units trained and equipped to do whatever the United States needs them to do at any moment. And every job that is in the United States Active Duty Army is in the National Guard, anywhere from special forces to an electrician like me. And the National Guard is currently active all across the world. It's in all states in the United States and pretty much any country you can think of, we're a part of. And as an inclusion, I hope you learned something about the Army National Guard today. And if you ever wanted to join, 
I can get you to sign a contract before you know it. And we'll even throw in a nice little fancy book bag like this, and you'll get to wear a nice fancy uniform like that. <laughs> <laughs>